All right. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see my fancy display, but we are. Uh, a guy at work found a good 3D printed uh, cell phone holder. So we're going to use it. So this is the third, the third one we've tried. The first one, uh, I have a video of that one. It was kind of a disaster. So I don't know if that video is going to get published or not. I have a lot of videos in queue right now, but uh, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with them. Uh, the second one was uh, this same version right here, but it's not... Uh, it wasn't uh, big enough, wide enough to hold my my phone. So they took that one and scaled it up, and uh, scaled up the 3D model, and then printed it. And this is this is the result. So it's pretty strong. It's got uh, you know two clamps that go around the gooseneck section right here so it's clamped on onto to that piece and then uh yeah and this has some spring tension to it this little plastic piece and then the uh the threads on it are more aggressive the ones that were on there the first time were very on the first version would be what i would consider fine thread yeah, you know, when you get a diameter that big and your threads are only like one millimeter, that's almost like ultra fine thread. So these are these are very coarse threads right here. They're not Acme threads, but they're uh, they're close to that. So it's, it seems like a very solid holder that can withstand the torment that I put this stuff through. So I'm wearing my jacket right now because I just think I might have to take it off, but The wide angle that I use, it just looks it looks strange. Having my my arms like that much of my arm in the screen, it's kind of crazy. I can already tell you it's hot and I'm hot already so yeah this jacket may need to come off I don't know how hot it is right now it's probably 70 75 maybe so more than likely if this video goes well then I'll publish this video. And then if I find any good footage from uh, earlier in the week, yeah, I might use it. We might chop it up and make it into shorts or publish the whole video, I don't know. We'll see. So, yeah, so at four, well, at five, we're going to a Halloween trunk or treat thing at the kids' school. So I could either do that or uh, stay at work. I stay at work late a lot. So I remember reading a quote that said uh, so 
something like your boss will never remember all those times you stayed late to work but your kids will so it's kind of interesting and I think there's another way that, that people put that you know so if it's just your day to day routine then you know do your routine but if there's something special like a little school event and you can make it you know rather than uh, stay late and uh, for a few extra dollars go ahead and uh, go go home on time I'm not leaving early I'm leaving at eight hours the problem is I'm still sick a little bit sick so I don't know how much uh, I don't know I don't know how this is gonna go I tried to drink a bunch of water I have an appetite I ate a lot of food so my strength should be good but my headaches pretty a lot a uh, lot better than it has been the last few days so a uh, fast route a fast route honestly would be Main Street because uh, Main Street to the Santiago Creek Trail but riding this bike on Main Street while staying in the street isn't really a good idea. Because with, with electric, I can accelerate a little faster and, you know, dart in and out of cars. And with this bike, not so much. Plus the brakes. The brakes on the e-bike are really good. With those small little tires, I can stop. They're only 20 inch tires, so I can stop pretty, uh, pretty easy. Yeah, I'm already tired. My legs are already sore. So I need to get home by 4.30, actually probably by 4.45 so I can uh, take a shower and get ready to leave by 5. Wind's terrible right now. All right, so rather than wait for the uh, for the light, we'll go ahead and go on Red Hill. We'll just cruise. I think this is a nice, a nice pace. So a subscriber made a comment regarding uh, that they like the uh, 60 frames per uh, second footage. So that's the first comment I think I've gotten on uh, the frame rate. I had gotten one before at a during a night ride where someone had said they liked the 30 frames low light enhancement better than 60 frames but other than that um, I've always thought that the 60 frames 
48, 50 looks a lot better. And uh, I've always been indecisive about it because 30 frames looks decent and processes a lot faster, but uh, you know, I want, I want my videos to be, uh, you know, good quality. You know, especially since, since I rarely have enough time to edit, you know, I at least want to have good quality raw footage. So anytime you guys see a video where I don't make a preview or I don't put titles, uh, it's just because rather than uh, not put a video out, I'm going to do the color and the lighting and uh, and then just run it through. And a lot of times I haven't uh, scrubbed the video where I listen to what I was talking about and and stuff like that. So sometimes there might be cussing that I don't edit out or I try not to cuss anyway as a rule, but I do sometimes. And there might be subject matter I wouldn't normally talk about. Like if I get in the mood and talk about something in the morning, I might listen to it at night and be like, nah, that is a, that's a bad look. I don't want to talk about that. So, but yeah, it just kind of is what it is. I'd rather get, you know, I'd rather get something out for people to watch. You know and have good good raw footage so man it's hot look at that truck i need a truck like that a monster energy truck I work with a dude that was sponsored by Monster. He rode skateboards. They used to send him cases of Monster. So we should be able to cruise along this street with at a decent speed because this is that somewhat of a downhill. It's not really downhill, it just feels that way. I mean, it probably is a couple degrees, one degree. We'll be able to see we're at 38 feet right now. Honestly, I don't know that I don't notice that much difference on the bike. On the e-bike, definitely. So now we're climbing. Yeah, we're kind of climbing right now. Wonder why this is so much faster when I'm on the e-bike. Interesting. Yeah, this phone holder is pretty good. It's 
definitely better than the one I have on the other bike. I don't ever use it, but... Man, I'm gonna have to take this jacket off. It's freaking hot. Got a BMXer, dude. Pretty cool riding a BMX out here. Reminds me of that guy, uh, King Cobra, I was checking out on uh, YouTube for a while. That's who he reminds me of. I wonder if it's him. Might be. Okay, so I'm thinking Bike feels weird right now. Something feels weird. Oh, jeez, we can't make that. On the e-bike we can. Not on this one. On the e-bike, I would have bombed that, but the brakes on this thing, you see that? I had them slam. We're gonna have to get, uh, we're gonna have to get some brakes. But, uh, so the brand I got for the for the electric is uh, I'll see if they have this size on the electric and uh, I'll get those so okay so we're here Grand Street is about a mile that way so we'll stay on we'll stay on Red Hill probably to Valencia or Edinger and then we'll cut over and try to make our way to First Street and then cut over to uh, then cut over to uh, Tustin I guess or we could ride on Yorba Maybe we'll do that. We'll just do the old Yorba route. Yeah, we can do the Williams. We can go through the Santa Ana Auto Mall and then do the Williams. Shit. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We're just gonna ride. should be safer because there's a bike lane but these cars are going 
so fast. Like, if you get hit on Red Hill, you're done. You get on hit on Main, you might survive. I used to see this guy on the train all the time. That guy's that guy's gonna catch a bus and go to the Tustin Metro League. All right. Which way do we go? Not Warner, we don't want to do Warner. So what's next for this bike? So we know for the e-bike we need a motor. So yeah. Next for this bike is another inner tube and some slime. Then after that, I was thinking about getting the the rack and the bags. But I think like I can manage the weight in this backpack a while longer. And I'm thinking maybe of getting some slick tires. So people get in the comments and I appreciate it, you know. So somebody had mentioned, I had mentioned uh, the, the size of tires you know, me not knowing that much about these types of bikes. So somebody had suggested, for obvious reasons, getting uh, some road tires, some slicks, and then talked about the width of tires and what they mean. Some of it's intuitive, but it's good to hear from somebody who knows what they're talking about. And then another person mention the uh let's just go straight and we'll turn on edinger uh mention the uh kevlar tires so maybe we'll get you know some go a little thinner a little narrower 35 millimeter slick Kevlar tires. Uh, somebody also mentioned Tannis armor, which I agree with, but that's almost as much as uh, the set of tires, you know? So I don't, that's just not attainable. Neither are the tires at this point. I can't get those yet. But I'm just thinking it's a creative visualization, right? It's how you make stuff manifest. So with this, you know, with this commuting thing, um, 
Yeah, my kids are always gonna come first. My family's first and then I'll deal with any, as long as I can commute on a bike, everything else is extra. Oh, uh, you know what, we can go. Got 10 seconds, eight seconds. But that's why, you know, now I'm kind of driven to get that thousand subs and the few hundred dollars I make will buy stuff like that, you know? So the channel can, the channel can support itself. All right, so. I think it's a good idea to cross here, even though we don't have the light. Looks like these folks have been waiting for a little while, so let's help them out. Wait, wait, wait. So we're on Edinger now. We're gonna get over to the other side where we're supposed to be. And uh, probably just cut through this, the auto mall. Doesn't auto mall sound, that sounds German, doesn't it? Auto mall. I think my seat's all tweaked again. I gotta fix it. We're still sitting up high though. I don't, yeah, this is a good, definitely a good seat position. So we're at 83 feet, 84 feet right now. So we've climbed significantly. 87. too hot. Too hot to handle. Now we have a lot of weight in the backpack. I need to get a thin long sleeve shirt. Oh, I need a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, that feels nice. Very nice. All right. Much better. It's a strong headwind right here, actually. You can 
probably hear it across the camera, even with my wind, my windbreaker or whatever the hell you call it. Cobblestone. So it's three, it's like 359. We've been going around 30 minutes. So yeah, we'll probably just cut over and do Pacific Street and Yorba all the way to Orange. It's kind of treacherous. It feels like it's uphill a lot, actually, Yorba does. But we'll be able to see. So we're already at 97 feet. Hundred and one feet, hundred and three. Does this mean there's a train coming, or is this just no? Beach cruiser, that was me a couple weeks ago. Yeah, these people are just gonna have to deal with it. This sidewalk is too, uh, this guy doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. He 
No, I mean, dude, that's a double line, bro. You can't make a left-hand turn coming out of there with all those cars parked there. You just gotta make a right, make a U-turn. I'll never do that. I will never make a left across a double, like a solid line, you know? I will on a bike, not in a car. I gotta make sure I don't see anybody sit <laughs> sitting in these cars. So I think the total climb is 150 feet. I thought I saw that on the on Google Maps before. I might be wrong. So believe it or not, I made this ride on the electric the whole way one time. When the electric broke the first time, the display was at 380 miles and I was just like, just loving so much riding to work. It was so disappointing. I took it as an opportunity to ride my bike without the battery without the uh, aired up the tires and I rode it to work and it wasn't too bad but then I rode it home and it was horrific but now I can kind of see why because it was a you know a gradual climb from you know 30 feet to whatever we end up at We do have a hill climb coming up. An unnatural hill climb, just so we can go over the freeway. So the last time I did this route, I think I was on the beach cruiser, wasn't I? I think I was. I went to that doctor's appointment on the beach cruiser. Is this guy looking? Speedwalker. Well, this is dangerous because these brakes are not good. All right, so we're gonna jump over on Myrtle, I think it's called, yeah. I won't 
go over to Pacific Street. Man. So it's 4.09. So we'll see. I don't think I can make it in. I don't think I can make it in uh, an hour yet. So these people can turn on the arrow, or on the light, I mean. We're gonna sneak across. Uh, All right, 143 feet. Let's see if we have any text messages. Nope. Light's the worst, the worst. You can't get across this intersection. I think there's a big, uh, a big mark on this curb down here somewhere. Guess it's gone by now. I, I, I drug my uh, derailleur guard across this freaking curb one time. That might be it. I mean, I guess we could have went on I guess we could have went on testing. Now I'm gonna be all sunburnt. I just got rid of my farmer's tan, now it's coming back. Light's terrible. This is a cinder block wall, so we don't really have a lot of risk right here of pedestrians. Our car is pulling out of driveways, just pulling out of the streets, you know.
Our car is turning in. Here's an alley. Our driveway, I guess. I don't know. I think the sidewalk footage always just looks so much cooler than the street. Unless it's like Main Street. On Main Street, it's a lot better to be in the street or on, you know, where you can see everything. Still a long ways to go. Still gotta get to 17th Street. So now we have houses pedestrians hopefully nobody's coming around this corner I saw a human they turned under the bougainvilleas Vandenberg. I usually turn right on Vandenberg, but let's go this way. All right, we made it to 17th Street. I should have cut through that parking lot. That's actually kind of cool. It looks like a cool little strip mall. All right, so we need to get back onto Yorba. This guy's been on the crossing button. He's going. Why is he going? Okay, cool. This guy's a expert. Uh, He's a black belt pedestrian. He knows. He knew it was his turn to walk. Wow, look at this strip mall. I never noticed this before. Let's cruise through here. Maybe we can find a way out, but look at how cool it looks. Wow, I had no idea this was here. I'm not into strip malls, but like th this is nice. And there's a Dollar Tree, a Marshalls, and a Home Goods. This car's gonna run me over. We're gonna go this way. I don't know if we're gonna end up on 17th. I sure hope so. I mean, not on 17th, on Yorba. Yeah. Okay. So this might be hard to get across. So we'll start off on the wrong side of the street. 
until we get a this is nice and shady though to stay here until until we're forced to get off of it so hopefully there's no spiky bougainvillea branches right here sure sounds bad car is pulling out right here really bad yeah that's what's bad about riding on this side <clears throat> you get the same thing on the other side but on the other side the car is on the other lane in the other lane so you have time you have time to react here you don't have time to react So we need to get across. Yeah, for some strange reason, I thought this would be the fast way, but it's not. We're at 179 feet. We've already been riding 50 minutes. And we're far away. We're gonna go use this car as a shield. Hundred and ninety. Yeah, no wonder why this was hard riding home this way. Whew. Yeah, it sucks. It's all right. We're gonna do this video today. Golly, yeah, this is hard. I mean, it is Friday. I've been a bit ill. Second week of training. Really, you could consider the beach cruiser training. I mean, I think I'm definitely in uh, better shape than I was three weeks ago. I think it takes time. I'm just thankful I'm able to do this. Two weeks in a row, I think that's pretty good. Two weeks in a row, one flat tire. Oh, I'm going to fall over. Oh. Jesus is Lord. Don't forget. Two hundred and eleven feet. So I, I wonder what route I was looking at when it said it was 150 feet. Maybe it's, 
I don't know what the elevation is of where I started. So whatever I was looking at, it's not the actual elevation. It's how much climbing you did. But we've already almost climbed 200 feet. Very gradually. Gonna be pushing through this. It's windy. I know the trees aren't moving, but trust me, there's a headwind and a hill. Two twenty-four. Jeez, we gotta get this light. My throat is like but when you swallow and you have that painful lump in your throat, that's what I have right now. Cross. Let's cross in front of this guy. So we're going to end up on the Santiago Creek Trail again. Four twenty-seven. So we're at about the hour mark. I mean. I wasn't trying my hardest, but I definitely think, I mean, I was trying to keep up a good pace. I don't think, I don't think I really could have made it any faster, you know? I did stop and take off my jacket, but that wasn't about a minute, so. See, the ride home is always longer, no matter what, so. I'll come back. I still want to make it in 50 minutes. So this morning, I ended up deleting my video from this morning. Uh, this morning, I was definitely going to try to do a time trial. I actually went on the, uh, I went on the, uh, 35 minute e-bike route, but and then it was so foggy. It was so foggy the whole ride, all the way it was foggy. And so I ended up right back on Main Street and uh, it just, 
just wasn't a good video. I mean, I usually like the foggy videos because I think it looks so cool. But it just like didn't go any way that I planned. So like the things I was saying weren't happening. So I didn't, it just didn't have that uh, continuity that I like to it, you know. So rather than put out a video I wouldn't like, I just deleted it and made more room on my micro SD card for this ride. I mean, I could have put it on my computer, but. All right. So we can finalize the trip right here through this gate. Oh man, we need brakes. We're gonna stop right here. We're gonna call this the end. Even though technically the, the gate over at the end of Walnut is, but we're gonna do it here. So we stopped. Oh, here's that thing that says, uh, when I was talking the other day, 92.3 miles an hour, look at that. That was from, uh, that was from the train ride. So our top speed was 23 miles an hour, average speed 10 miles an hour, 11 miles, one hour and one minute, which, you know, it really isn't true because I didn't go all the way to the other gate. It probably would have taken me another three minutes to get to that gate. All right. Well, thank you for watching my video. We'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully I'll do something cool this weekend, but I'm not uh, going to say what I'm going to do because I don't know yet. I know uh, Richard wanted me to hit some uh, some cemeteries, so we'll uh, definitely, definitely try to fit that into the uh, weekend at one point. Holy, hopefully I can make it to Holy Sepulchre Cemetery or the one out by Christ Cathedral. And uh, we'll see. The Holy Sepulchre Cemetery at night might be pretty good, but I don't know. We'll see. More than likely, we'll hit something during the day, though. We'll catch you on the next video. Appreciate it.